If you're not attending, you're probably missing out and costing your company money. Being here and being able to meet all these important people, really the people I've been emailing and talking to already, kind of seeing it face to face, it's been really invaluable. We've got highlights from Exhibitor Boot Camp and why exhibitors say this is a must attend event. Apex TV 360 starts right now. Welcome to Las Vegas. We are here at the Sands Expo for Exhibitor Booth Camp. I'm Christina Jensen for Apex TV 360. This year's Booth Camp schedule was packed with informative sessions, one-on-one -on -one meetings, and tours of the Sands Expo, which is of course home to Apex. It's really important to come to Booth Camp. It's like a non-negotiable. It goes on our calendar immediately when we get the date um, because we absolutely want to be here. There were two stops on the 2018 Roadshow. The first stop was Detroit at the Mala Aftermarket offices where over 40 exhibitors attended. The next and final stop was the Sands Expo. The first session allowed exhibitors to learn about show updates, sponsorships, and Apex vendors. It also included pre and post show planning, tips to have a better show, and presentations from official Apex vendors. Chris Kalusik with Apex Show Management spoke about new sponsorship opportunities. They include a new virtual reality experience, exhibitor outreach program, apexshow.com promotion, and a free booth listing upgrade. The VR experience is actually going to be a virtual game. Uh, a, uh, buyers will put on the virtual headset and it'll take them into a garage. So when, they're, when they put the headset on, they'll be in a garage and they'll have to physically grab parts. Sponsors of this, of this VR experience will have banners inside the virtual garage. This session also offered insight on how to enhance exhibitor ROI. Maureen Winston from MDG offered a few tips. Attendee interaction and boothmanship are kind of tied together. So that if you have people there who aren't your typical salespeople, that they are comfortable interacting with other people and having those conversations and drawing people into the booth. Other tips to increase booth traffic include in-booth celebrity appearances, having high energy activities, and using the media to your advantage. I'm thinking about right now, what activities do we need to have at the booth? What type of promo items do we need to order? And so it was great to have that background before we make the purchases. In session number two, exhibitors learn the secrets on how to interact with attendees and get business done. Exhibitors in Detroit had the chance to listen to a buyer panel that included Jerry Zielinski from Motown Automotive Distributors and Tom Van Cleef from A&J Automotive Warehouse. In Las Vegas, exhibitors listened to an in-depth discussion featuring Frank Lutz from Desert Car Care. The discussion was tailored specifically towards speaking to service professionals because the partnership with the Lions will result in over 5,000 service professionals walking the show floor on Thursday. There should be some uh, beginning stages of communicating via smartphone uh, your product, uh, perhaps a CR reader, so that when you have, let's say you're giving a raffle ticket away, how do we get into the smartphone respectfully? They don't need another pen, they don't need another keychain, whatever it is. Get somebody in here who's part of the industry. But the fun didn't stop there. More opportunities to learn continued through the day with tours of the Sands Expo. Chris Kalusik led one of the tours, highlighting two new exciting locations for exhibitors. Ended up at the new location for the Mobility Garage. Wanted to show the uh, exhibitors here where that was going to be located. Also wanted to show them the location of the new uh, uh, new product and packaging showcases because we've moved those out of the Venetian ballroom into the Venetian hallway, which is really exciting because that's going to get a lot, of, lot more traffic there. After the tours, exhibitors engaged in one-on-one -on -one meetings with Apex vendors that included representatives from show management, the Sands Expo, Freeman, and much more. These meetings allow exhibitors to have valuable face time with service providers before the show. And let's keep the hot connections going at a cool party. Attendees enjoyed themselves at the Minus 5 Ice Experience. This venue serves as another option for exhibitors to use as a meeting space. We can offer private events. Uh, we like to put logos on the LED screens, as you can see. We can do custom logos. We can brand equipment, supplies, anything you want in ice, which is amazing. People can brand their auto parts in ice. All in all, Booth Camp was a huge success. Apex TV 360 would like to thank the Mala Campus and the Sands Expo for hosting this year's Booth Camp. Booth Camp is so invaluable. I think I always stress my other clients that this is a great thing that they do. 
Um, it brings new exhibitors along who may not be aware of the different vendors that are there and the different opportunities they may be missing out on. Don't forget, more networking and educational opportunities are around the corner at Apex 2018. The show will be held from October 30th through November 1st at the Sands Expo in Las Vegas. Register now at apexshow.com. That's a wrap on this boot camp edition of Apex TV 360. I'm Christina Jensen. Thanks for watching.